Math Buddy, Sir Sherwin here, your math instructor. For today's video, we will be discussing all about polynomials. Of course, we will be guided with these objectives. First, identify polynomials. Classify polynomials according to degree and the number of terms. And write polynomials in descending and ascending orders. To start with, let's define polynomial. It is an algebraic expression that represents the sum of one or more terms containing whole number exponents on the variables. Examples. Negative 3x to the 4th yz. 7a plus 2b plus c. 9x squared minus 3x minus 11 and 4m minus 5n. x raised to negative 2 minus 8x minus 2 is not a polynomial for the reason that it has a negative exponent. Polynomials can be classified according to number of terms. It can be a monomial, binomial, or trinomial. To define monomial, it is a polynomial with one term. Examples, 12x, 100, negative 3x to the fourth, yz. Binomial, on the other hand, is defined as a polynomial with two terms. Examples are 4m minus 5n, 14a plus 7, negative 3x to the fourth, minus yz. While trinomial is defined as a polynomial with three terms. Examples are 9x squared minus 3x minus 11 and negative 3x to the fourth minus y plus z. Polynomials with more than three terms have no special name. Polynomials can be classified also according to degree. Degree of a monomial in one variable. It is the total number of times its variable occurs as factors. Example, negative 4x squared y z cubed. In this certain monomial, all we need to do is to add the exponents of our variable. So therefore, the degree is simply 2 plus 1 plus 3 is equal to 6. Degree of a polynomial in one variable. It is the greatest of the degrees of its term. Example, x squared y plus x squared y squared minus xy. To determine the degree, all we need to do is to add the exponents of our variable in every term. So if we are to add exponents of x squared y, that is 3, adding the exponents of the second term, x squared y squared, that is 4, while the sum of the exponents in the term xy is 2. Therefore, the degree of a polynomial in one variable is considered the greatest of the degrees of its term. In this case, 4 is considered as the degree of x squared y plus x squared y squared minus xy. If a polynomial has a degree of 1, this polynomial is known as a linear polynomial. Example, 2a plus 5b. If a polynomial has a degree of 2, this is known as a quadratic polynomial. Example, 3x squared minus 7x plus 15. If a polynomial has a degree of 3, this polynomial is called as cubic polynomial. Example, negative 2x cubed plus x squared minus 8x plus 5. Remember, the degree of a term that has only one variable is the exponent of that variable. The degree of a polynomial that has only one variable is the highest power appearing in any of the terms. The degree of a term that has more than one variable is the sum of the exponents of the variables. And the degree of a polynomial in more than one variable is the highest sum of the exponents of the variables in any of the terms. Let us identify the degree of each polynomial. First, 4p cubed q squared r minus 9. To determine the degree of this polynomial, all we need to do is to add the exponents of these variables. That is, the degree of this polynomial is equal to 6. a plus 7b plus 4 cubed. Here, variables present in this polynomial are a and b. 
So, the highest degree of exponent is only 1. Therefore, the degree of this polynomial is 1. 12 x cubed minus 6 x squared plus x plus 5. Here, the highest degree of exponent is 3. And lastly, 4x to the 4th y minus 3x squared y squared minus 2xy cubed. If we are to add the exponents in the term 4x to the 4th y, that is 5, while the sum of the exponents in the second term, negative 3x squared y squared, that is 4, and the sum of the exponents in the third term, negative 2xy cubed, that is 4, Therefore, the degree of this polynomial is 5. The conventional way of writing a polynomial in one variable is to write the terms in descending or decreasing degree. Remember, when a polynomial is written with decreasing exponents, the coefficient of the first term is called the leading coefficient. Let's also bear in our mind that in some instances, it is convenient also to write the polynomial in ascending or increasing degree. In this case, we begin with the term with the lowest exponent. Let's try to write each polynomial in descending and ascending order. Given 10x cubed minus 6x squared plus x plus 5. So our descending order can be written as 10x cubed minus 6x squared plus x plus 5. So the order of our exponent is written decreasingly. While to write this one in an ascending order, it will be 5 plus x minus 6x squared plus 10x cubed. In this order, our exponents are arranged in an increasing order. Another example. Negative 2x cubed plus 7x to the fifth plus 5x minus 1. Here, the descending order can be written as 7x to the 5th minus 2x cubed plus 5x minus 1. And the ascending order can be written as negative 1 plus 5x minus 2x cubed plus 7x to the 5th power. So bear in our mind, in writing our polynomial in a descending and ascending order, let us also affix the symbol present on that term. In our equation, 7x to the 5th minus 2x cubed plus 5x minus 1, there is no term with x to the 4th and x squared. But of course, we can write this one with the missing terms. To do this, that will be 7x to the 5th plus 0x to the 4th minus 2x cubed plus 0x squared plus 5x minus 1. Here, the missing terms has a coefficient of 0. In a polynomial, terms that are exactly alike or that are alike except for their numerical coefficients are called like terms. Examples, 7x to the 5th y cubed, negative 8x to the 5th y cubed, and x to the 5th y cubed. Here, our three terms have the variables x to the 5th y cubed but differs with their numerical coefficients. This is an example of a like terms. So like terms are 2a and 7a, negative x to the fifth and 6x to the fifth, mn and 9mn. Here, variables and their respective exponents are considered to be the same. On the other hand, terms that are considered to be unlike are 2a and 7b negative x to the fifth and 6x cubed, m squared n and 9mn squared. Here, 2a and 7b differs with their variable. Negative x to the fifth and 6x cubed differs with their exponent, while m squared n and 9mn squared differs also with their exponent. So these are examples of unlike terms. Remember this. A polynomial containing two or more like terms can be simplified by adding these terms. This process can be called combining like terms. And of course, it will be discussed in our next content, so please stay tuned. There you have it. Hope you learned something new today. God bless us all.